So I know that this video is coming to you ever so slightly late, but in my defense, the box did arrive at like the end of June. So please don't shoot me. Anyway, <laughs> we finally have the June Sophie and Toffee Elves box. So let's get into it. It's your girl, Aisha Shasha. And you know what? It really does feel like a hot minute since I've opened up a Sophie and Toffee box. Um, by the way, don't think that I've forgotten all about the May box. I know that I haven't yet done the craft from that. There's two reasons for it. Number one, um, I wasn't actually entirely sure that I wanted to make a board game out of it, especially with the stuff that we were given because none of those games I'd actually play. Also, I kind of felt that, you know, if everybody was going to be making the same board game, that I kind of want to do something a little bit different. So, secondly, I um, have decided on a completely new project and um, the stuff that I needed for it has arrived, uh, including my new heat gun, which <laughs> broke down on me a little while ago and I needed to replace it. And I knew I definitely would need to have a heat gun for this because that thing takes up a lot of resin. But anyway. I digress. I have the stuff that I need and I'll be working on that craft this week. So don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> that craft will be done very, very soon. But first and foremost, let's open up this box. I don't know what color it's going to be. I think that last month's one was red. Could this one possibly maybe be blue or red? It's black. Ooh, spicy. Okay, the box feels full already. We haven't even gotten inside. By the way, if you guys are brand spanking new to my channel, then you wouldn't know this, but I do like to do my unboxings in a way that I don't know what's actually inside. I literally just put my hand in, feel around, and then show you what's what, so I'm just as surprised as you might be. Okay, so this feels like it's the booklet that tells you what's in there, so let's move that out of the way. Okay, what am I feeling? What am I feeling? That feels like a mold. Or, or possibly like a mat of some sort. It's very ridgy. Okay, what kind of mold is this? Ooh. Okay, so this, is that like for like incense burning maybe? What is this? Hold on. This has got like all the phases of the moon on it. Okay. This looks like one of those things that you would like then stick your incense into. Let me see get it open <laughs> what is that so this has got all like the different phases of the moon on it and it looks I mean I say it looks like something to put your your incense in oh yeah do you know what I, th I think it really could be because yeah that would make that would make an indent in it so yeah I reckon that this is for incense you know okay let's go with that for now we will see <laughs> we will see if I am correct Oh, what's that? I felt a packing peanut. I'm very happy. I do love me some packing peanuts. Right, what's this? This feels like, could this be like a lotus flower? Maybe a candle holder? Maybe, oh, that's gorgeous. I think that this is a candle holder. I think that this is a very sort of like aromatherapy kind of style box. This is a really nice mold. I really do like that. I think that this is going to be for candles, I think. Okay, next we have, that feels like maybe like some pigment or something. Oh, what's that? Yeah, that's like a, 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 a an iridescent color shifting pigment. Let's have a quick look. Yes, it is. Yeah, so this is one that you could, um, you can sort of like spread onto your mold and it will give it a really beautiful kind of like color shifting sheen absolutely gorgeous you know i love me some iridescent powders iridescent anything i love <laughs> oh a little bit of it's gone onto my finger there you go can you see how it's just sort of like shifting in color can you see that that's the kind of effect that you will get on your um on your project so my camera's going oops, 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 oops. <laughs> next is this crystal gel resin yes it is oh scented i think i'm on the right track vanilla scented crystal gel hang on Okay, <laughs> I don't recommend that you go like snorting this, but it is definitely scented. Hang on, let me try that again. Mmm. 
it smells a little bit fruitier than vanilla in my opinion but you know each to their own but that is quite nice we've never had well at least i've never had um a scented resin before so that's nice oh what's this what is that um is that more resin but it's just in a packet like what is this oh i was right yes so um this is uv resin but it's a different type I think I've seen this one before on their website, but I've never tried it. Looks like it comes straight out of Japan. Um, I've never tried this one before. So this will be interesting. That is a completely different type of bottle to what we're actually used to. You get 55 grams in this one. Next we have, ooh. This might be um, pigment, but in a, in, a, in, a, in a plastic wallet. Yes, it is. Okay, we have black pigment here. I already have some of this from the, um, uh, from the Disney Sumsum box from like last year. Um, this is another pigment. What color are you? Ooh, I like that lilac. That's gorgeous. So we have a lavender as well. Very, very nice. We don't have, I haven't got a lavender one already, so that's very pretty. And what else do we have? Is there another one? Yes. This, I'm gonna guess, white maybe? No, it's like a sort of shocking blue. This is the golden blue. And I think they call it that because it's got a slight yellowish shift on it. Very, very slight. That is rather gorgeous, sort of like electric blue. Um, this, is, this is a big mold. A lot of molds in this one. Could this be like, like a trinket tray kind of thing? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my goodness. So this is um, um, a hand and it has like these beautiful kind of like um, a bit like henna designs on it. This is absolutely stunning. What an intricate mold. Oh, that's beautiful. That would make such a lovely little trinket dish. I know you guys are expecting for me to actually like wear this out. <laughs> You're expecting me to say that would make such a wonderful necklace. It would, it really would. But it's not the kind of thing that I personally would wear. But I think that would make an absolutely beautiful trinket dish. That's really, really stunning. I love that. That might be, that might be one of the most intricate molds that Sophie and Sophie have given us. That's really, really beautiful. And I think there's another mold here as well. We're getting a lot of molds here, guys. What is this? Oh, that's lovely. Okay, so this is kind of like, they look a little bit like jewels maybe. So we've got some different shapes, but like the kind of, um, like the kind of sort of like domed effect that's on them. It looks like they may be meant to replicate like jewels. Let me show you. I've never seen a mold like this before, where it's got this sort of like domed bit in the middle. That's really interesting. I'm quite intrigued to see how that's gonna come out in resin, because obviously it might look different to how it looks right now in the mold. So I am very intrigued to see how that is going to look. And do we have anything else? We've got one, two, that's a, that's a small little thing. Oh, three, okay, there's a few more things. Okay, what is this? Oh, we've got some bezels as well. There's a beautiful lotus flower, another hand. Is that, what's that, tree of life, I think. And we have someone here doing some meditation. Oh, chakras. Okay, this is, this, is, this is gorgeous. So this is a very calming, meditative, is that what, me meditative? Me yeah, I think. <laughs> Meditation themed box. I did not expect this at all. Not at all. These are beautiful. These are gonna make such stunning little pendants. Oh my goodness. Who here is into meditation, aromatherapy, chakras, Reiki, that kind of thing? Put, put your hands up in the comments. Let me know if, if this is like your sort of bag. These are gonna look absolutely beautiful. Very, very intricate bezels, particularly that little tree of life one. Very intricate, I love it. That's so nice. 
There's a lot in this box. This is the premium box, by the way. So if you're sitting there with your own box and you're like, why haven't I got this and that? It's probably because you haven't got the premium one. So there are always two different um, boxes per month. The premium one obviously has a few more extra items in, but at this moment, I don't know what comes only in the premium and what doesn't because I haven't yet read the booklet. So bear with me. Um, okay, what are you? Ooh. So I think that these are um, like holographic films that can go into, um, maybe into, I'm, I'm guessing that this is an incense holder. So maybe going into that. These are beautiful. This reminds me a lot of um, Spirographs. Does anyone here remember playing with Spirographs as a kid? <laughs> Let's do a little uh, uh, demographic check on my channel. Hands up who remembers Spirograph. <laughs> Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. Yeah, so they come on an acetate sheet and so you just cut that out and place it into your resin and then, um, yeah, that would look beautiful once the light shines on it. Stunning! I honestly did not expect this sort of theme at all. I really, really didn't. I am, I am very surprised. Is that everything? No, there's one more little thing here. They feel like teeny tiny little beads. There might be little crystals or something. Oh, little golden shards. This is nice. This looks like someone got some fool's gold and just like smashed it. That's what it looks like. It's really, really nice. Okay, do you know, this will look really nice if you did like a sort of marble effect and then had this kind of sprinkled throughout it. That would look really, really pretty. Now about those packing peanuts. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Okay, we don't have that many, but still we work with what we have. Are we ready? <laughs> In three two, one, yay! <laughs> Why do I have this obsession with throwing things on my head? I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I am very pleasantly surprised with this. I didn't expect such a calming, sort of, you know, healing kind of box. Um, to be honest, I think we could all do with a bit of healing at the moment. So, uh, Sophie and Toffee, I am impressed with this theme. I think it's beautiful. Let's have a little look at the booklet. It's called a good vibes box. I love that. I really like this as well. Look at the um, the actual cover of it. It's beautiful. Isn't that lovely? And you see, even on here, you've even got this lovely sort of like marbly pattern with the golden flakes in there. See, I told you it looked really good with marble. So let me just do a little quick peek in here. So your regular items are, oh, so they're worry stones. Ooh, okay, I didn't know that. So this mold here is the Worry Stones mold. Okay, they're smooth, polished gemstones, usually in the shape of an oval with a thumb-sized indentation used for relaxation or anxiety relief. This is so nice. Make nice smelling Worry Stones with our scented LED resin. I will definitely do that. Oh, this is lovely. Oh my goodness, okay. And then we have the Sacred Chakra, um, chakra Bezel Charms and the Sacred Geometry Design Film. Yep, got that. UV resin for the mold, got that. Um, oh, it says this resin allows minimum shrinkage when used with the mold, so that's good. And cure it, uh, cure it under a strong UV lamp for at least two minutes each side. E yeah, at least two minutes each side. I tend to cure mine for a bit longer than that. Um, so this is all still in the, in the uh, regular items, by the way. Um, the Hamza hand um, says here, the, the Hamza is a palm-shaped amulet popular throughout the Maghreb and in the Middle East and commonly used in jewelry and wall hangings. Beautiful. Lotus candle holder. I was right, it is a lotus and the candle holder. Um, Color shift pigment powder, Mika pigment powder, powder. Yes, got that. Uh, and the gold crushed glass. So that's all the regular items. So the premium items are the scented resin and I was right, the incense holder silicon mold. Okay, and I've accidentally just seen what the theme is for next month. Let's hope that I forget that by the time it arrives. Normally that's on the back. <laughs> I just got a spoiler. Um, February challenge winner. So this is for the photo frame um, uh, mold. Remember that? Remember we got that back in February. So, oh, Yaz is one of the winners. Yaz Escamilia. Um, I know her on on Instagram. And we've also got Marianne Kim, and we also have um, Pissel Garage. Um, oh, some beautiful things here. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done, my darlings. 
absolutely stunning, gorgeous art. I really like this one down here. Beautiful. I don't know whether any of you guys actually watch my videos, but just in case you do, well done. Okay, I'm off to go and get started. Number one, I need to go and do maze craft. And number two, I need to get started on this because this is absolutely beautiful. And um, yeah, I think, I think that we're gonna make some really, really pretty things with this. I would love to know what you guys make as well. So do feel free to uh, tag me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is just down here. Um, make sure that you tag me in, in any of your posts or feel free to DM them to me because a lot of you are subscribed to me because of Sophie and Toffee. And I do want to, you know, really kind of like get more involved with the stuff that you do as opposed to just showing you what I do. So yes, please do feel free to show me the stuff that you have made. If you enjoyed this video and you are thinking, do you know what, I would love to get my hands on a Sophie and Toffee box. All you need to do is check the link in the description box below. Down there, you can make sure that you save yourself a pretty penny when you decide to sign up with Sophie and Toffee. Honestly, every single month, I am always so, so happy to receive the boxes. They're always jam packed with really cool things to do. And you can always think outside of the box as well. Don't ever feel tied to whatever it is that the leaflet says that you should do feel free to expand your horizons and just make something incredible. The thing with Sophie and Toffee is that it really does sort of go on a kind of like collection basis. So I've been collecting since 2018 and so I now have a huge amount of Sophie and Toffee molds and different types of resins and different types of pigments and stuff. So the more that you, um, well, the longer that you're subscribed to them, the more cool things that you will get to add to your craft kit. There, there might be some times when you'll get a box and you're not entirely sure what to do with it, but then the next box will come and you'll go, oh, actually, that will go really well with this box and you'll create something entirely new. So yeah, <laughs> I highly recommend it for um, just exploring your creativity. Now, if you are brand spanking new to the channel and you're thinking, I want to be part of the Shasha squad, what do I do? Well, two things you can do. Number one, you can go ahead and visit my merch store. You can get yourself a fabulous little t-shirt if you're feeling like it. Or number two, you can, of course, if you're loving the vibe, you can just subscribe so that you don't miss the next one. Take care, my darlings, and I will see you all soon. Bye.